Hey guys, welcome back to an all match day vlog on the channel. This time the FA Cup, the Castle take on Cambridge. I'm looking forward to this one. It's our first match in a couple of weeks. I've seen the lineup. My word, Eddie Howe is taking this game seriously. He's playing probably our best team possible. It'd be quite a mixed opinion from people. Percy, I wouldn't start like to trip you because if they get injured in this game, we'll be screwed next week. Fingers crossed they don't and everything goes well today. We should be comfortably beating Cambridge, no doubt about it. We've got loads of fans, they'd be 35,000 fans, GG. But we should be winning this game. But anyway, guys, as always, you're new to the channel. Make sure to get down and subscribe here every single match this season, as I always promise. All the news will be on the channel as well as all sorts of different vlogs. Make sure to get down there, subscribe, smash like button, enjoy. And without further ado, guys, let's get in the way. There we go, half time, nil nil. Pretty poor half, I'm gonna be honest. The castle definitely better team, creates a good chance. Keep us made some good saves to be fair. But we're lacking that striker well, Callum Wilson. There's nothing really in the mid middle of the attack which we need desperately. In this transfer window, we definitely need a bank which I'm gonna be completely honest. We should still win this game, I'm not worried. Well, it wasn't a good half, I'll be honest. I'm a bit disappointed with what I'm seeing with some of the players. Trippier, I think, has been probably the, one of the best players so far. Late time so far in his debut. Apart from that, there's not much to shout about. It's a pretty boring game. You can't sort of come on, let's have a better second half. Thank 
black guy's coming up. One more twice. Go on. Oh, save! Right, let's get back to the block to work out. We need to get this chance for him. Come on, he's got a save. Don't want to save that. He's last chance for the castle. The goalkeeper's in the box. Let's do a die, this. Oh, the ball. Oh, no, not the ball. Oh, come on, weapons. Shocking. The goalkeeper was in the box, why would he even try and do that? That seems more upset than my type of fan. That's one of the worst ones in the classic fight of games. What a shock it is. I mean, fair play to the king. Let's keep that kept in a minute and that game plan works. Fans enjoy it, 5,000 fans turned up, respect to uh, Castle. we've already got ourselves to play, what a shocker that was. There we have it, full time, Newcastle nil, Cambridge 1. What I even say, we just lost to 16th in League 1, newly promoted League 1 side, as came to St James's Park, and put us in our place. What a disaster that was, we played essentially our best squad as well. Our team, equivalent of hundreds of millions of pounds. Here in Trippie has David, he's lost to bloody Cambridge. Cambridge, oh, I can't get over it. We deserve to lose that game, don't get me wrong at all. The goalkeeper made a lot of good saves. Did he time waste? Yes. Well, of course they're going to time waste. That's their game plan. And you can't fault me because it worked. You cast a point of view. That was shocking. Absolutely shocking. We put our best team out today to get through this round. We didn't get through the round. And now the exact same players are going to go next week and beat Watford at home in the Premier League. We need new signs in Ponto. I had two massive problems that game. One was the striker. Simply put, there wasn't one. So Max, when for the most part, tried to play up top. It didn't work at all. We need a target man. Without Callum Wilson, we are absolutely screwed. We haven't got a goal score. My second problem, the midfield. There were many times for that match we had the ball. Dodgy touches, dodgy passes. It slows the pace of the game down and allows Cambridge defenders to press on. It was shocking by us. I can't get over it. You can't blame Eddie Howe for that one. He put the best team out. It's down to individual players in that squad. I'm not saying which ones. You know which ones they are. It was terrible. It was shocking. Sunderland fans, Cambridge fans, and all of you all piping up tonight. I'm not looking forward to it. We deserve to lose. It was terrible. Only got ourselves to blame. What a joke. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Ticked off is an understatement. What a shocking, shocking performance that was. I'll see you on the next one.